you direct, as a matter of fact, as we sit here, you directed Cardi B's music video for the upcoming, I think the song or upcoming album that she got. Uh, you had, I don't think he feeling it, but you had a run in with Joe before, correct? Yeah. We good? Yeah, we good with Joe. Man, Joe just be, I don't like how, uh, so I, I rock with Joe. Cause I done talked to him also on some man to man, but I just feel like he'd kick it with you and then kind of dog you out to the world. Right. You know what I mean? Now, it'd be hard for him to do that because it's like the credits don't be matching. Like the comparisons, the credits that he has don't right. be matching. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. You know what I mean, right. The credits that he got don't really, really be matching to right. like the people he, he be getting on ass. Mm -hmm. But he do got a word and sometimes he say some things that, that it do make sense. But right. I didn't like how he was trying to shit on the females. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's an evolution, bro. You shouldn't say that. The, mm -hmm. the, that is dead. And then I don't want him to come for me either. Like, cause I done talk to him. I ain't just down to, I just feel like I, dis I, I disagree with your opinion with the female music. Right. Like they doing their thing. Why, mm -hmm. why, why shit on it? You know what I mean? Right. But we good. We good though. Yeah. No problem. I ain't got no problem with nobody. Let me ask you this. How do you, the criticism that comes along with it, how have you been able to develop thick skin? Because you know, there been some criticism. I don't come from that though. Right. So I'm saying like I didn't I didn't thank God like I blew up in 2013 mm -hmm. where we were still we had to get on the floor we had to sell CDs we had to put posters up I come from doing that shows for five thousand to ten thousand Chitlin Circuit mm -hmm. like I didn't come from damn I blew up my song blew up on Instagram I'm a, and, and let me check my comments you know what I mean mm -hmm. and I just feel like your core fan base as long as you got that and you successful you moving but you know you do see stuff and you go through stuff but i try to keep myself up out of that because that'll end up it'll, it'll drive you crazy trying to like prove to these people because once they see that they can get to you they just keep going yeah they do they yeah, they, yeah. they it's like one soon they touch touch that nerve and you show they touch that nerve they touch it throughout your whole thing like i'll be seeing now like when people drop music right they like the next day it's like trolls on there saying how many streams they got in 24 hours. When I come from your record growing, because when your record grow, it establishes you more. Right. Because you can have a number one record for one week and then it drop off the charts completely. And then that person who at 89 and they go to 69 and they go to 70, that means they done been on the billboards for 12 weeks and they got up to top 20, top 10, and you had a number one and it fell right off the chart. I come from development music, like right. where it, it, every it, it, my first my first songs ain't go top ten on no billboard, and I still was making my money, and people love me, and it, it's it's I feel like it's it's taken away from the artist's creativity. They ain't really because they so focused on like damn, getting the answer. What my number gonna be? I don't be I ain't even checking that. But I feel like first week numbers is a way to downplay us to make us a less value in the game. Mm -hmm to like the big labels social media social media what role do you so man i ain't gonna lie bro i ain't gonna lie bro i'm glad i said though grew up a little bit you know 